It is the happiest and most glorious day of my life. I am honored to be able to tell you, Reverend Fathers, brothers and sisters, what I have seen with my own eyes and experienced. Well, for the sake of time, I will make it short. I am Peter No. I live in Seattle, Washington, USA. In 1994, my younger sister, who was living in Hawaii, told me that Miss Julia Kim was coming to Hawaii two days before her arrival. The reason Miss Julia came to Hawaii was that there was a conference of the Blessed Mother called the Marian Conference, and she was invited as the most important speaker. I am still in the United States as a federal civil servant. At that time, I couldn't really make time, but the Blessed Mother led me to spare time. Miss Julia was supposed to arrive the next day. When I looked for a flight, there was no flight available from Seattle to Hawaii. Even then, only one plane was going to Hawaii at five in the morning. But when I called to check, I was told, there's a plane leaving tomorrow, but it is full. It has no seats available. I wanted to meet Miss Julia. I was really frustrated. So I prayed to see Miss Julia. And when I called again after a while, they said, one person canceled. So by the grace of the Blessed Mother, I could go to Hawaii where Miss Julia was going. When I got to Hawaii after air travel, I stayed at my sister's house where Miss Julia was also staying. I smelled an intense fragrance of roses. It was as if the scent were coming from thousands of roses sprinkled all over and filling the place with fragrance. As Miss Julia was going to arrive at the airport, I went to the arrival area to meet her and greet her with great emotion. In 1994, when Miss Julia delivered messages at Waikiki Beach, about 5,000 people came. She emphasized the issue of abortion the most. As she was hitting the podium while she was talking fervently, a flashing light came down from the sky. When she spoke, her voice sounded stormy, and a shower of rain, streams of the water of mercy, poured down. Then when she finished her speech, everyone was amazed and said, Look at that, and looked up at the sky. I saw the sun floating, spinning around and around. Many people took pictures of it. Later, when I developed the pictures, the gate of heaven was shown on the photos. So many people have experienced that miracle. The day after the speech, my sister Anna invited Miss Julia to her house and offered her house as Miss Julia's lodging. Countless people flocked to the house. Because they fully packed the house, when Miss Julia spoke, the people who were far back away from her couldn't hear her. So we set up a microphone for her to speak. As you may know, it's quiet time from 8.30 p.m. in the ordinary residential area there. You can never make a fuss or play loud bangs or other music there. Because such noise would bother the neighbors, it is strictly forbidden to make noise. It has become a daily routine, so everyone is following it. That evening, Miss Julia poured out her enthusiasm through the microphone. Many people were impressed. That evening, I heard other people say that it was raining all around that area. However, it didn't rain in the garden of my sister Anna's house, where Miss Julia was speaking to the people. After Miss Julia's speech, a blind woman came to her guided by another. Miss Julia came up to her and prayed with sincerity for a long time while pressing the blind woman's eyes tightly with her two thumbs. And when she took her hands off, this blind woman said, I can see, I can see, I see this world. She jumped for joy. The blind woman, who longed for so long to see the world, opened her eyes. Such a miracle happened. The next day, when the news of that miracle occurred through Miss Julia spread, Father Martin Lucia, a world-renowned priest, came to my sister's house to see if miracles would be performed through Miss Julia. Miss Julia asked him, could you celebrate Mass for us? The priest said, okay, let's go to St. Anthony's Church and celebrate Mass. So we went to St. Anthony's Church and attended the Mass. Miss Julia received the Holy Eucharist. What I saw clearly, the sacred host in her mouth suddenly turned into a lump of blood. Then the lump of the blood turned into flesh, and then it swelled up and became alive and was moving. The priest was surprised and did not know what to do, and later instructed her to swallow it. So she swallowed it. I have witnessed such a miracle. This is what I've clearly seen with my own eyes, and I'm telling you what I experienced on the spot when this miracle happened. I really love and respect Miss Julia because I have clearly seen and experienced many miracles done through her. I always thought, someday I have to go to Naju, but I couldn't make it. Today, finally, I am here, 
for the first time in 21 years, and Miss Julie was very happy when we met. She gave me a hug and rubbed her cheek against mine. I received such a great grace today. Also, she personally gave me the rosary that she had, and now it has an intense scent of roses. Indeed, I am so much blessed with me. Now I conclude my testimony. Thank you.